All right, you ready for round four? I'm ready for something else. Okay. We need to pick me up after that last one. Well, what's interesting is the last one had coffee in it. This one is coffee grain whiskey from Nika, but it has nothing to do with coffee. If they're just lies. It's not lies. It's just lies. It's just a different it's, coffee. It's an E Y and not an E E. Yes, different thing. So it's the still, and it's not the, the bean. Exactly. Exactly. Already then. And I think I've had this at events, but I've never actually bought a bottle. Never had a bottle. Hmm. So, and I've been curious, because it gets great reviews. Everyone says it's really, really good. Um, let me just tell you a little bit. What, Would you like what, me to pour while you read? Yeah, you pour. I'll pour. So, from the Complete Whiskey Course by... Momento. Oh, it's a... Uh, never mind. It's a goddamn screw top. We'll get the glug glug now. Ready? Yeah, wait. First time pouring it. Oh, I hear it. Beautiful music. It's a nice beautiful glug Beautiful music. Oh, it's beautiful music, right? Glug 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 glug. Very nice, very nice. It's a nice plug plug. All right. Okay, read away. Slide that down. Okay. So again, from the the uh, complete whiskey course by Robin Robinson, what he has to say about this whiskey in his chapter on Japanese whiskey, Nika coffee grain made exclusively at Miyagikyo in one of only three coffee stills in operation in the world today. This popular winner is made primarily of corn, and will be the crossover for bourbon drinkers. Elegant, sweet, and fruity. At 43% ABV, it brings some cool edginess to its high caliber spirit. So, he speaks pretty highly of it. Does he provide scores for these? No, he doesn't. He just, he just, 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 just says, drink this. That's all, right. all he says. I'll accept that. Cheers. 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 Oh, that smells nice. We get a little of the, of the corn just because he yeah. mentioned there was corn. He in said it. bourbon. But it, it, it does, does smell bourbon. Right, right, it's, right. it's very, very, very vapory. Yeah. And it's only 43%? Is that what you said? 45. 45%. 45% of the bottle. That's what it says it's in the bottle. It smells hotter than that. It does. It's, it's quite burny. Are you breathing with your mouth open? I mean, I, I should say uh, smelling I with your mouth open. I am unable to do that. For some reason, I, I just can't do it. I'm trying it. It's not easy. Now, are you swirling and also chewing your whiskey? Because we got to do all those things. Right? I chew together. Yeah. <laughs> I'm swirling. Too. We have to swirl. We have to throw it on the ground and pour it out again. Uh, color-wise, it's like a pale amber. Yeah. It's a nice light pale color. Amber. Light, S sprightly. You know, it's vapory, but it does smell really nice. It's it smells fresh and clean. It's got yes. a clean smell to it. Not a cleaning solvent sort of smell. No, 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 it's no, no, a no, fresh, no. clean very, smell. Very vibrant. Kind of pick it apart, but you know the vapors are kind of getting in the way, you know. Okay, a little bit of orange. Hmm, I can see that. A little orange peel. Yeah. yeah. And then a little bit of you know the, the vanillas, the butterscotch, a little bit of that. It's it's kind of got some spice away. though. Yeah. It's got some like like some heavy baking spices, you know, like like not cinnamon per se. But it's got like that allspice. So it's more like a an orange tart. A little vanilla, a little orange. Some baking spices to it. How about a little ginger? Maybe a little ginger, ginger? in there? Maybe. Like a ginger snap. What about Marianne? Is Marianne in there too? Marianne. So really for the long haul, ginger or Marianne. Mrs. Howell. I've told you this before. Oh, that's right. She's got all the money. She's got all the money. She's got all the money. <laughs> you gold digger, you. That's <laughs> all along. You're a gold digger. Wasn't that a movie with Dean Martin? The gold digger? The gold digger? Maybe. Wasn't that a Dean Martin movie? When he was Matt Helm. Oh, that's got some kick. That is hot. What do you think? It's much hotter than the forty-five percent. Yeah, and if it's you, all. If you told me this was a fifty, I believe I would, it. I believe it. It's all up front. I'm getting a little bit up front. It's all up front. But my me. tongue and teeth are anesthetized now, so maybe I can't tell. And a little bit of heat. Um, maybe a little more cinnamon than it is pepper. Mm, I gotta think about that one. Because you know, first sip is always like what? And you gotta go and say. Again, like more baking spices than anything to me. It's not very thick. It's not particularly oily. But it is very nice, though. It is very, very nice. Um, the flavors are all in the front third. I'm getting a little caramel. Like a little... Again, little, more like the baking spices all yeah. comes through. I'm getting, I'm getting the, a little the, bit the, of like... The vanilla, the butterscotch, the, the, the toffee-ish kind of yeah, flavors yeah, yeah. coming through. 
It's very fruity. The citrusy the nose, I don't really pick up much citrus. Mm. No. And the finish is... Um, it's not that long. It's, it's a, a mild whiskey. finish. It's, it's a, a mild whiskey. Finish. You don't get the burn, mm. per se. Um, but it's 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 a very approachable, very drinkable whiskey. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I would say if someone's telling me that this is a whiskey I should drink, they're correct. Yeah, this no, is a whiskey this, I should this is drink. Very good, and it's not something I usually expect from like the Japanese because I've only had most of their single malts. Yeah, I think this is very similar, as they said, to a bourbon. Mm -hmm. It's got not that, quite. It's not got, quite. But it's got more of an American flavor to it than yeah. it does a Japanese flavor. Mm. Um, I think a lot of Japanese tend to be Scottish, I like Scotch, like really well enough it's Scotch. But a little different, maybe a little yeah. islandy, a little salty, a little maritime. Yeah. And I'm not really getting any of that with this. There's really not a lot of maritime flavor to this. This is very similar to, you know, a corn whiskey. Go back to it again. It's very nice. You gotta kind of like try it a few times. Nice. This is the first time we're trying it. Yeah. So no, that's, that's good. You just cracked open. That's the good. This would this would be really good cocktail, I think. Oh, absolutely. This would make a nice old absolutely. fashioned. I could maybe a highball. But I think for for things that are more leaning towards bourbon, I think I go more old fashioned for like scotches and stuff like that. What Scotch about, and Irish. What about I this? A, what about this in a ginger? Like a ginger beer, something like that. Yeah, maybe. You know, I can like see a, that. What is that? A Tom Collins? Uh, no, the Kentucky, or, or, like a Kentucky a mule. 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 This would be like a Tokyo mule. A mule, Kentucky mule. That's good. That's really nice. That's really, really that nice. nice. That is very nice. Forty five percent. Boy, that's hot. First impressions, I go like 88, 89. But I'm thinking this is going to be the kind of whiskey that's going to grow on me. You know? So you're saying this is a solid B plus plus A minus. Yeah. But as you have more of it, it's going to migrate to potentially to an A. Because we've had a few of those. Like remember that little tasting we did with Raja like last week. Yep. I do remember last week. Yes. yes. That's good. That's yes. a good sign. But there was that that one whiskey. The one from Australia. I forget what it was called. Tin Shed? The Tin Shed. Yeah. The Tin Shed. The first sip was yeah. kind of, mm. But the more I yep. tried it, yep. it just kind of yep. grew on me. You know, because it was pretty subtle. Same thing with this. I think I'm going to get more out of it, like, the next day. And I, I would be intrigued with trying this in a cocktail. Mm -hmm. To see how it holds up. Yeah. And to see what it does to a cocktail. Right. You know, I'm a big fan of old fashions. I like to try a mule. Why yeah. not? Sour. They're all sure. good. But yeah, this is a uh, very nice. Now we've had uh, Nika from the Barrel. Nika have from the Barrel. Fantastic. Anything else from the Yoichi Fifteen. From the Yoichi. That one I had. That was that was a tremendous yeah. whiskey, and I can't find it anymore. That was one that The Rock wow. picked up, which banned for me. Yeah, I think you'd have to get it through the airports. And this was like probably yeah. five, six years ago. It was a bargain at the time. It was like the same as this. This was like and, seventy bucks. And now after Suntory, it seems like they've shut down all the. The Japanese whiskey. I don't think they've shut it down. I just think well, they just keep just it in house. Demand. Not that there high. isn't any, you know, they closed. They're just not sending it here. Right. Um, and you can't find any of it. You know, the Nika's not here. And no, I'm, I'm actually surprised you found this. Yeah. yeah because I've good. gone and looked at uh, various places, and um, it's hard to find good Japanese whiskey on the shows. Yeah, that's not. There's, there's other. There's other distilleries that I don't know enough oh. about. Yeah. But I know Nika. I yeah. know that their stuff yeah. is really good. So that's why I picked this up. Yeah. There was another one like Oh I a Y. There was a few other ones. I can't remember the names of them, but there were. There, but this one was like the one that I knew, yep. so I figured yep. I'd try it out. I really would like to have tried the coffee malt, but I couldn't find them. Yeah. So, just out of curiosity. It's very so, good. So, yeah, I would go 88 on this. Yeah. You know. I agree. You know. Again, this is first impression. I agree. This yeah. is you saw me. This is the first time we opened it, so we went in cold. Very nice. Very approachable. Very drinkable. Yep. Like a lot of the other Japanese whiskey we've had, well crafted. And uh, like you said, I, I think the more you drink it, mm -hmm. the more you're probably going to like it. Oh, absolutely. So, sir, cheers. Cheers. And cheers Thanks to you. Thanks for sharing. Absolutely. Absolutely. You've shared plenty. My turn.